episode 69 of the Game Chasers we were in. All right, time to go. <laughs> All right, welcome back to another Squadcast, everybody. T- time to chit-chat. We got a lot of time to chit-chat these days, so let's, let's go straight into it. Uh, Gabo. What do you got? Uh, someone named Melissa Chambers asked a pretty interesting question. He or she says, my question is, if a celebrity designed a retro game, what celebrity would you want it to be, and what type of video game would you want it to be? Uh, Quentin Tarantino? No, that was my answer! <laughs> That's who I well, was going to say. You're the brilliant guy. You have uh, to come with something else. Yeah. Uh, Quentin Tarantino, I would like to have like a Kill Bill game, man. So a Kill Bill style video game. So like almost like a crazy hack and slash yeah, over bloody. Yeah. I know I know. there's a game of the last generation. I think it's called Wet. And it's okay. something. Oh, yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, really good. But I would like to have like a crazy, a mix well, a very Quentin Tarantino mix of vampires with Got samurai it. sword. Got it. Pure action, something like that. And I, I think Quentin Tarantino is the best one for that. I was going to say Quentin Tarantino also, but I was going to say more along the lines of something really psychologically crazy. Almost like, uh, I, no hate, no, no, I'm not casting any shade right now on anything, but I almost want Quentin Tarantino to direct what I thought uh, Death Stranding was going to be. Now, don't take this wrong. Mm. Death Stranding, when I first saw the trailers, I was like, oh my gosh, this is 100% my type of game. Crazy. What the heck's going on? Everything's weird. Everything's wild. But then when the game came out, again, no shade. It was definitely not my style of game. A very slow-paced game, which is not my my forte. So almost like what I was expecting Death Stranding to be, I wish Quint- Quentin Tarantino could direct a game like that with just tons of weird, crazy things going on because he's got that brain. I don't know if I ever told you my memory sucks. What was the what was the director of Goodfellas? I, I can't forgot. remember. I can't remember. Well, we, we talked about it too last time. Yeah. yeah. So I got a, another one. Imagine next Max Payne that he's the director. And oh, the, that style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he's the one that makes the game. Although I did love, I loved the Max Dude. Payne games, man. Those games got to your I, soul, I bro. Yeah, I think it's perfect. Yeah. Perfect combination. One that I was going to say is I almost wish like Jim Carrey back in the days, like when he was like super in his prime of like Dumb and Dumber Ace Ventura was, would direct like one of those really cartoony point and click computer style games from back in the day where everything's like really zany and weird and a little over the top goofy cartoony. Uh, I think it would have been really cool to see his brain kind of work with something like that. Almost like a, like a nineties cartoon animated show, but in made, made as a video game. But with Jim Carrey doing it, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. I got, I got more. Nice. This is from Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix. No, Joaquin Zuniga, which he was a member before. So, woo! I don't even know if we do that anymore. Uh, he says, "Do you guys have any modded systems? And if so, which is your favorite?" Oh, uh, of course, of course. Um, what, I got many? my my OG Xbox is modded. And is it really? I, will, I didn't know that. Yeah, I will say that's my favorite because he have uh, arcade main. Does it have turbo? Uh, no, okay. he has Super NES, uh, NES. Got it. Game Boy Advance. Okay. Game Boy, and my favorite one main. Got it. And I remember I, I somebody mod that one back home in Puerto Rico in around in Puerto wow, Rico, like two thousand two. Something okay. like that. All the way there. Don't take and, this wrong. This might sound like the most racist thing ever, but I honestly don't know. In Puerto Rico, is everything in English or is it in Spanish? The games. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's like here. Everything okay. is in English. Okay. Um, and also, I have my Wii U mod. Mod. Modded. 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 Wii U or Wii? Wii U. You have your Wii U modded? Do you have Wii yeah. U games on it? Yeah. What? Be- I've been wanting to do that for so long. Well, actually, I did it when I came here. Got Some it. guy from Orange County. It's not Mort, but somebody else. <laughs> this is We're talking like illegal stuff right now, too. It's funny when we talk about this, there's always a couple people in the comments. Well, like you know get, what? Get mad at us, but I get it. I get it. It is what it is. It is what it is. We're not promoting it by any means, but uh, yeah, for well, me. Come on, just do it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I, I have uh, a few things modded. I'd say uh, 
my favorites are my NES Classic mod. Uh, oh. Just because the interface on it uh, looks just like the NES Classic, you know, interface. It looks the same. It doesn't look like it was done from like an outside source of any sort. And yeah, of course, the, N the yeah. NES Mini and the Super NES. But you know what? Since I begin collecting, full collecting, yep. I stopped modding the the consoles. Got it. Yeah, it's it, it's definitely kills the buzz of collecting for sure. Yeah, you know. Now if I, I, I go ahead. Good. No, I was gonna say another one uh, for me that my second favorite, if I'm gonna pick two, would be my Wii mod, uh, and I have. Not that it necessarily runs the best, but I love that it does have all the Wii games on it, which I love browsing through all the Wii games, kind of having fun with those. But it has my Sega Master System mod on it. That's why I like it so much. Well, nice. Because I get to play all of like the, uh, the I get like, I got the Ninja Gaiden Sega Master System game on there, which if you haven't played, by the way, good Lord, that is a I, I think I played twice and it's really good. It's crazy how good it is. That game, when I remember playing it, I, I was doing playing it on my Wii on the mod. And I remember starting it up and playing through it and hearing the music and everything. And I was like, oh, I think I clicked like the wrong thing. I think I clicked like some Super Nintendo hack or something. And then I went back and I was like, oh my gosh, this is Sega Master System. And then I looked, you know, looked up online about it. I'm like, okay, this was a eight bit game, but it didn't look eight bit, didn't sound eight bit, didn't run like an eight bit game. So it was really impressive. It doesn't even look like a Sega Master game to be it honest. It really doesn't. And I yeah, feel like the it, sound is above. Yeah, even the sound, yeah. I think it's Brazilian, maybe, where it came from. I'm not exactly sure. But. I don't know, but good job, the one yeah. that did Yeah, it. whoever made it, great job. All right, we have nice. one more question. One more question. Uh, we're going to probably record a couple of these tonight, but uh, we'll stop after this one for this one. Uh, Big Whiskey 27 says, games you tried because you were curious and then you actually really liked it. Now, the way I kind of interpret that is it's like something that you weren't expecting to like. And then you tried it. Maybe that's the way I interpreted it. But then you ended up really liking it. Do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? For me, I was gonna say Overwatch. And the reason I say that is because I love first-person shooter games, but I was really into the Call of Duties, the Battlefield, the more realistic first-person shooter games. If anything, I always kind of frowned on first-person shooter games that were like overly goofy and overly silly. It just wasn't my type of thing. I wanted every character just to be, you know, machine gun soldier guy. Mm -hmm. So when I tried Overwatch, because a bunch of dudes from my church were actually playing it, a bunch of the youth guys, you know, they were like 18 years old, like, oh, Overwatch, Overwatch. I'm like, eh. But dude, I started playing that a lot. And I put a lot of hours into it, which in, in turn made me get more comfortable with those type of games, which led me to Paladins, which I play way too much of. All right. Mine, probably you're going to kill me. Uh-oh. But. but It is what it is. But you is. like it now, right? Oh, yeah. But okay. this go back in the days. Do you okay. remember what I was telling you uh, yesterday okay. about JRPGs? Yes. All right. So Super Mario RPG. Oh, wow. So yeah. you didn't think you'd like it? I just, I remember I rented and I began playing it. And the, and the next thing that I know, I was finishing Oh wow! At least you yeah. finished it too. That's good. That's it. That's what I, I really, I really enjoy it. To be honest, yeah. For me, another one. Since you said that, uh, definitely one that got my curiosity, and I was surprised how much I loved it uh, was Mario Rabbids on the Switch. Oh, me too. Because really I really good. I I almost would go as far as saying that I would hate strategy type games, anything with kind of like yeah. RTS, real time, anything like that. But my brother was like, "Hey, dude, you should give it a shot if you're looking into." Uh, you know, you want to get into strategy type of games. And man, I loved it. I beat it. I even downloaded DLC. And it's funny how sometimes it takes, in order to convince me to play a game or a style of game I don't like, it takes a character that I like. So just like Super Mario RPG back in the day, I was like, I don't like RPGs, but it took Mario to be in an RPG to get me into it. And then same for strategy. I, you know, saw that and I was like, okay. Yeah, I'll it's funny it. you're saying that because I was thinking the same in other games that I I try it because they have some Street Fighter characters and Capcom characters is Project Exxon for the Exxon. for Xbox the 3DS 3DS oh. and it's like a like a turn-based strategy game oh, wow. it's yeah. really good 
is is like a mix of almost all the entire Capcom characters. Ooh. The same universe. Yeah. Missing together. Yeah. And traveling all the worlds. Yeah, it's crazy how when characters you love are in a certain type of game, it's like, well, okay, I'll try it. Yeah. For example, you see Ryu and Ken fighting the Ghost and Goblin world. Yep. So it's something something crazy. It's yeah, really and, good. And that's why I think it's really cool a lot of days with crossovers in video games, like Battletoads being in video games now, in fighting games, or Negan being in a fighting game. You know, it's like Ooh. stuff. I mean, we've had that from, you know, back in the day, they've done crossovers. But yeah. I think it's smart because it just brings people in who would have other nice not played. Uh, but if their favorite character is in it, they're going to be like, well, I guess I'll give this game uh, a try. I have to take it out of my chest. Uh-oh. Uh, I think uh, they put Negan in the wrong game, to be honest. They put Negan in, in Tekken. Just, in Tekken. Tekken 7. And you thought he should have been in Injustice? Mortal Kombat. Oh, it's Mortal perfect. Kombat. Yeah, perfect. you're right. Tekken yeah. is a funny one for him to be yeah. in. It's a little... Well, but, not well, saying I... Not saying at I least we like have Tekken. it in a game. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's better than not having him in a game. Yes, yeah, it know. is what it is. It is what it is. All right, Gabo, is that it for today? Uh, we need a crossover uh, Game Chasers and Pixel Game Squad. We have had that before. We have yeah, had but, that before. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, yeah. Episode 69 of the Game Chasers we were in. All right, time to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out of here. We're going to film another one of these right after. We're just going to end this one here. All right, audio, uh, everybody. <laughs>